Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's a video of my new Winmax charge controller. And uh, got a little gust of wind. I think y'all might have seen that at the very beginning. But yeah, this is it. This is a new Winmax charge controller. That's where my free phase hooks in. And this is my, my battery, negative and positive. And there's my three phase coming in there. Uh, I did away with my rectifier from my number two wind turbine, but this is my new one kilowatt wind max 1000 watt 24 volt wind turbine. And this thing will tell you a uh, uh, little bit of everything. Let's see, get in there wind power, power, sun power. Sun voltage. Well, I don't have it set. The time, date. Mm, today's the 25th of 2012. Okay, so we go down. And this thing, I can move around anywhere I want to. If it's in the way, I can set it down there. It's got a um, it's USB port. Oh. Uh, USB port hook up. Um, sun power watts. Wind, wind and amps. Solar and amps. And let you know when your battery's low. Power. Load one, load two. DC voltage 26.4 volts. But yeah, it's 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 pretty neat. I mean, I love the screen. Oh my god, that is clear as a bell. But I'm just giving it a whirl, see how it tr go tries. You know, see it, give it a test run, see how it goes. It's good for 29 volts. Um, it says on the manual, but it's pretty quick kick butt. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. That's where my rectifier was right here. And here I'll show you my new wind turbine. And here's my, excuse me, this is my Swede slash Winmax I got for sale. And here is the hub. The hub. All the nuts and bolts right there. The, um, and that's the hub. Here's the nose cone. And this is the, the base, the plate that the turbo mounts on. Alright. And right here, I left a little little on there where you, somebody could take it and re-weld it on there. And it'd be pretty cool. You know, I just left a little on there where they have a where they could uh, scab into it or cut the old weld off or and redo it whichever way they want to do it. Just give them the option. All right. Also, here is the base from the wind turbine. Oh, yeah, right. It's tough. It's heavy duty built. Good turbine. I uh, got it up for sale now. Starting out bid. Starting out bid is two hundred bucks on eBay. But if it doesn't sell, I'm gonna keep it because I got too much invested in it. Um, I got about four hundred dollars in the blades and the hub. And then I said right here it says HY six hundred blades. There she is. Alright y'all. Got that directly from Winmax. And that's a SWE 48 volt 500 watt. That's one I had it before. Okay. Let's go up here. I'm gonna show you my new Winmax. But the wind's not doing much today. It's kind of sorry today. But here she is. The new Winmax 24 volt 1000 watt. What a beast. I mean, she is a hoss. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited, y'all. I'll give you some more angles. And it's got the collar on there. Man, it does a great job. And. Anyway, sorry about that. Don't mean to do that on my videos. 
there she is. 1,000 watt, 1 kilowatt. 1,000 watt or 1 kilowatt when a max. 24 volt. And there's the stamp right there. Let me see if I can hold it steady enough. Oh man, it's hard to hold steady. Whoops. Everybody dizzy. Anyway, it's 1,000 watt. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's rocks. But anyway, back to that charge controller, and this is my 24 volt Winmax 400. HY400 and that's the HY1000 24 volt alright here I'm going to show you this charge controller manual now that's, my, that's another project there the little solar panel but this is what it, this is what I got wind solar hybrid street lamp controller operational manual this is a bad little little dude, man. It, it tells you a little bit of everything. It's pretty tough. It's not like the older uh, Winmax charge controllers I've dealt with, but um, they're they're cool, but they kind of dump too fast. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, y'all. But anyway, that's what it is. And Winmax are they're more robust and a whole lot better than what the old ones were. So we'll we'll see. All right, yeah. Let's go to the see what the solar and the wind is doing. Not much today. Anemometers spinning a little bit. But eh, you got days like this, and it's January twenty fifth. Old Davis Van View. The wind's coming straight out of a little bit of the north, northeast. But where she goes. It's about a four mile an hour wind. But I got trees blocking it, so you can't have everything. But anyway. Let's go over here. Just give you a little updates. But she's kicking today. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. UL Solar 140 watt panels are kicking. 24 volt, two 12 volts, tied in series to make it uh, uh, 24 volt. That's 280 watts total. And on the back side here, Kira series are kicking. Up top, a come right here at this gate. Top there, the carousel is kicking. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. But anyway, let's go here inside. Ah, uh -huh. a little north wind. We thought we were cranking. We're starting to turn. <laughs> That's about a six mile an hour wind. All right, solar air heaters, mother panels. Making power, making power. Gotta take the better with the sweet. That noise you hear there is my solar air heater. Now I got the the air going in, go coming out, so that it gets, takes the hot air and goes down, and it puts it out on the floor and it rises. All right, and max wind 12 mile an hour at 9.44 a.m. so that's the conditions right now looking good alright anyway 
right now solar it's 10 o'clock in the morning we're putting out 743 watts 744 5 watts that's pretty good for 10 o'clock in the morning on January 25th and just to show you what we're doing on the outback I love this outback it's bad to the bone but anyway y'all thank y'all for watching and just want to show one more thing Uh, anyway, I got the old Winmax. Happy with it so far. It's putting out power. Not right now, anyway. But, yep, I love it. Alright, y'all, y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for watching. Alright, bye-bye.